going on folks february 23rd 4 20 p.m markets closed 20 minutes ago today was a, another ugly day the nasdaq futures are currently down 340 s p's down 77 dow 477 in the red russell down 35 micro bitcoin futures down 215 Taking a look at Tesla, we put out a video early, early this morning with a couple ideas in mind that could play out. Well, if you are watching this video, you've probably been watching Tesla all day. And one of the scenarios played out that we had mentioned that could definitely happen, and it happened. We undercut this low on the 28th of January. That low price was 792 and 1 cent. Currently right now, post market Tesla is at 7 looks like 761 761. Give or take 30 bucks below that low on the 28th. I had a feeling this was going to happen judging by the way the chart looked and judging by the direction of the market. I can tell you one thing, this is not bullish action for Tesla. This is not a good look. I had mentioned that we really wanted to stay above this low. And if we didn't, that would confirm that there is potentially much more downside price action for Tesla to come or at least some choppy to downside price action to come. I had also mentioned that if we undercut that low on the 28th, that prices could fall and could fall very, very fast. So we definitely closed below that low, which is even more bearish. Now, this, this never rules out the fact that a stock can turn on a dime and rally higher from here. It's always risky to be short stocks. The market has a tendency to rise over time. So being short always runs a higher risk. Although there are times in the market, assuming that you're not going to just go flat and take your profits, you're going to go short. There are times where the market being short is the only play unless you're obviously going to be flat and wait for the next long signal to take place. Today's action is nothing but bearish and closing on the bottom of the candle is also more bearish. I have mentioned in other videos that the market indices have been short for a while now and I think stocks like Tesla are just starting to catch up to the to the big boys, to the major market indices. And you can see down 339 for the NASDAQ. So right now, our stance on Tesla is bearish. We are not bullish on this thing. And if we take a little bit of a closer look here, let me get a different drawing tool. You can see that we have been in downtrend here. There's a lower high, lower low, lower high, and then today was another confirmation of a lower low. So we are in some kind of a downtrend here for Tesla. Now, like I said, at any, at any moment in time, these markets can turn on a dime and rally from here and there's a chance that when that does happen, it'll be extremely strong rally to the upside. When you get everybody on one side of the market, the market has a tendency to turn and that turn can be brutal. Coupled with everybody on the wrong side of the market and then if they turn the market around in the opposite direction, you'll get a massive short covering rally that can send stocks soaring to the upside. 
But right now, Tesla just confirmed today that this is not good. It is not good action for Tesla. Our stance right now on Tesla is bearish until this thing shows otherwise. And it's got some work to do before we think that'll come into play. But like I said, we don't forget that markets can turn on a dime and start to rally strong. And when something like that starts to play out, it is to not be ignored. So we'll see what happens in the coming days. Right now, this thing looks ugly and I would be careful, of course, not financial advice, with trying to buy the dip here. But like I said, we could rally at any moment in time. The markets are starting to get a little bit oversold, but they can stay oversold for some time. Taking a little bit more of a zoom in here, I wouldn't be surprised to see some kind of a back test here, whether it's to back test this low here of 792 or even up higher up to the 200 day, which it looks like that's at 83070 right now. Kind of like when the major market indices started to roll over, you would get these vicious rallies to the upside that were just to be sold into and the market would quickly fade once again. We saw that today. We had we had green markets, green futures markets at one point during the day. And as you can tell from the right-hand side of my screen, all of the markets are red. S&Ps are down 76 points. So we'll see here what happens. Like I said, it's always risky being short stocks, but there is a time when if you want to be in the market and not flat, the markets do go short, and that is the only play. Of course, running that risk of a vicious rally at some point to come. And that will come, but we just don't know when. But when it starts to unfold, you can be assured that we will not be missing that next large trend to the upside. So that is our take on Tesla. This morning's video, I put out that so far, this was a could potentially be a double bottom, assuming we don't undercut that low. That obviously was nullified today when we undercut that low, continued to trade lower, and then really things started to heat up and we closed below that low. And you can see we're trading down quite a bit here at 760 and a quarter after the close. So that is our stance on Tesla. Like I said, if you're not into shorting stocks, then staying flat this thing until it starts to, to show some more strength to the upside, in our opinion, of course, is the, is the play here. Now, if you're more of a buy and hold super long-term investor and you're looking at this thing like it's on sale, which you would be correct, then that's a whole different approach, but that is not how we look at these markets. And that can be dangerous because you don't know how low these things can go and you're tying <clears throat> excuse me, you're tying up all that capital if this thing really starts to trend lower for many months or even longer. Um, our thought is why tie all that capital up? Why don't you just wait for the next bullish signal and then jump on board then? and use that capital somewhere else right now. That is our thoughts. But today we got that pretty bearish scenario for Tesla. We are not bullish on this thing. At some point again, we will. But right now, we will not touch this thing at all. Unless you are from the short side. So that's our thoughts. Of course, not financial advice. Just be careful out there. These markets are wild. At some point, we will get a strong rally to the upside. The question is, will that be sold into and will that just fade away like the current rallies have been? Keeping in the back of your mind that the major market indices 
are short right now, and they have been for a while. It's not like they went short today or yesterday. They've been short for a while. So the markets know what's coming. However, that works in this crazy world we live in. Somehow the markets know the price moves before the news comes out. And like I said, they've been short before all of this negative news that they're tying to the markets anyhow started to trickle out. So that is our thoughts on Tesla. We are taking a step back here. Like I said, if you're not short, then flat would be the play in our opinion. And we need to see some strong upside moves to come before we think or we get bullish on this stock. And after today's action, down 57 bucks, it has quite a bit of work to do to the upside before something like that will happen. But it can happen quick. So if it starts to play out, don't be surprised because you get everybody on the wrong side of the market. Markets get too oversold too quick. The rallies and the short covering can be pretty much unbelievable as you're watching it. Let me know down in the video comments your thoughts on Tesla, your thoughts after today, your thoughts moving forward. I greatly appreciate all of my subscribers. Thank you very much for everyone who has been around or has just joined the channel. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Hope you enjoy these videos. Let me know down in this video if you have any other ideas or any other stocks in mind. Perhaps I could put a video together for you. Just go ahead and let me know down in the comments. So we are not really surprised here at what happened with Tesla and the NASDAQ. This was, if go ahead, go back and watch this morning's video. This was a scenario that we said could play out that if we did not double bottom here and we undercut and especially close under that low, that is quite bearish. So that is our stance on Tesla. There, there will be another day to come where this thing rallies to the upside very, very strong. And like I said, we will definitely be on board for that. But sometimes you just got to either stay flat or go short the markets. And that's what it's looking like right now. All right, everybody, have a great evening. Be careful out there. These markets are wild, especially if you're trading with leverage. Markets move fast. Money moves really fast. So just be careful out there. All links, of course, always down in the video description. If you like our trading signals or you want to check them out on Patreon, links down below as well as a couple other links. All right, everybody, take care. Have a great evening and thank you once again.